So a study is done that's enrolled 100 smokers and 100 non-smokers. They then follow these folks for 20 years for the development of lung cancer. 30 of the smokers and 10 of the non-smokers developed lung cancer. So the goal of this study was to figure out if there's an association between smoking and the development of lung cancer. And what I want to do in this video is show you how to calculate a quantitative measure of this association between smoking and lung cancer. First, before I can do that though, I have to figure out exactly what kind of study this is because different studies will have different measures of association. So first off, I mentioned that they enrolled smokers and non-smokers and that they followed these people forward for 20 years till the development of lung cancer. So in this case, smoking is an exposure. It went forward in time for the development of an outcome, lung cancer. So this is a cohort study. And the reason I know this is a cohort study is because cohort studies start with exposure and then go forward in time and look for how many of the people in the exposed and unexposed groups develop disease. And one of the things I know from a cohort study, the measure of effect or measure of that association that I'm going to calculate is called a relative risk. But first, let's populate this 2x2 two two table. And by convention, in a 2x2 two two table, disease goes across the top. So in this case, we'll have lung cancer and no lung cancer. And then exposure status goes across the side. So we'll have smokers and non-smokers. And I know I enrolled 100 smokers and 100 non-smokers, so I filled in that part. And then I said 30 of the people who smoked developed lung cancer, 10 of the people who didn't smoke also developed lung cancer. So now a relative risk is only a ratio of the risk or probability of developing disease in the exposed group or amongst the smokers divided by the risk of developing disease in the non-smokers. So the risk of developing disease or the probability of developing disease as a smoker is just the number of people that develop lung cancer which is 30 out of everybody that smoked which is 100 and that's equal to 30 percent. Similarly if I calculate the risk of developing lung cancer in the people who didn't smoke I'm going to take everybody who didn't smoke which again is 100 people um, and in the numerator will have the number that developed lung cancer or 10 and this will be 10 percent. So now I can just plug these numbers in down here. The risk in the smokers is 30 percent. The risk in the non-smokers is 10 percent and really you should express this as a decimal so 0.3 divided by 0.1 and when you do that your relative risk comes out to 3. So people who smoke are three times more likely to develop lung cancer in this particular study than people who don't smoke. It's as simple as that. That's how the, where these numbers come from is doing this sort of calculation. So hopefully this has made it a little bit easier for you to understand where the numbers come from when you read a cohort study and they report a relative risk.